Okay, so now that our text is correct, it's time to do finalize, which is how we bring in our cover pages. But in order to do finalize, we have to make sure that we actually have the replacement fields filled in. So I'm going to click on Save, and I'm going to exit scope. <clears throat> now, I'm going to double click on the job, and you can see here in the job screen that I have not yet filled in all of the fields. So I'm going to take a minute and do that. And I'm just going to fill in various information. The one thing you have to remember is that the way you type it in is the way it's going to appear. So if you want it to be in all caps, um, then you definitely need to type it in in all caps. Now, let's say that the taking attorney is and the deponent is. Now, if we want to put in more information about these speakers, we need to come over here to the speaker information and fill it out. We have to do shift enter here. And we just click OK. just fill out some information for our deponent because I didn't hold the shift key down, shift enter. do OK here and now we're going to apply and OK and now we can return to scope again we do not have to load the engine and we're ready to finalize so we're going to click on job and finalize it's going to come up and say do you want to use these covers we're going to say OK and it goes ahead and brings in our cover page. There's usually a few things that we need to do, a few tabs we need to insert, but everything else should be looking pretty good. Let's say that we don't want um, this looking like this, we want it indented. Well, we could highlight it and we go to indent. Let's see, let's set the indent. Let's set an indention of one. And then we'll indent, and there we go. That's how it looks. So I'm going to do that for this one too. And there you go. Um, if we don't have any information for the others, we can remove them. 
Let's see, our stipulation is filled in. Our index starts at the proceedings. And let's say we want to delete this. And you can see that I have my text pretty large for the scoping phase. But let's say that I want to change all of my font to the same um, size. So I'm going to do Control A to select all. I'm going to go edit, change font, and I want Courier New Regular 12. So I'm going to say OK. And that should change it so that it's all the same. Um, this one was waived, so we don't need an errata. Don't need a page break. And and we don't need this because he's not reading and signing. So we delete that too. We put Susie Reporter's number there and we're done and we're ready to move to the scope phase but we need our transcript uh, part to be double spaced so I'm going to highlight er all of the proceedings and I'm going to edit um, set line spacing and double and so now it looks right. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to click on job and go to present. And this option allows you to open the audio in Media Controller while you're in your word processor if you want to listen to it again. If you don't, simply deselect it and click on OK. That'll take you into your word processor, so I'm just going to show you what it's looking like. My word processor in this example is Microsoft Word, and I have the show hide on so that I can see my section breaks and all of that. Um, let's say that I want my appearances to be on the next page. I'll just do control enter there. So I might want the word appearances to be um, centered. I can do that. I can bold and center and underline or do any of that stuff that I want to do here. If I don't want to see these little paragraph marks, I can just turn that off. That's my index, and here's my proceedings. Looks like I have an extra space here. So it's a good idea to just go and look make sure that everything's right. Um, one thing that I'm noticing is that uh, I've got 24 lines instead of 25 and so it may just be that my line spacing is off a little bit so I am going to go to the where the proceedings are and I'm gonna highlight all of my proceedings and just make sure that the line spacing is right by going to paragraph and I'm gonna set the line spacing at exactly 25 I'm gonna see if that looks right let's see now in this instance I have what's called fake line numbering and if I'm concerned about my numbering not being right then I might want to do real line numbering so I'd go in here and just delete the fake line numbering and go to layout line numbers restart each page and see if that gives me what I want and it does give me 24 lines per page so if I would want 25 what I'd have to do is just make sure that I'm viewing my rulers and seeing if maybe I don't have enough space there we go so when I move the line down a little bit 
to make sure I had enough space for 25 lines per page, then everything is just fine. So there you go. And in this instance, um, most people want the line numbers to go all the way to the bottom of the page. So if you just simply hit enter until you get to the bottom of the page, it will be fine. And you'll probably want to do that on every page to make sure that you've got 25 lines per page. And here, this is probably supposed to be single space. So Control 1 will single space it. And if I backspace it, I can get away with removing all these extra lines and go all the way to the bottom and then just start backspacing it. And I can just mess with it until it is the right number of pages or lines per page rather. So there we go. So Susie just has to sign her name really small. And if you want to do it so that you don't see it like this, do control two, that'll double space. Might not be the way you want to see it. Um, so you can control one, single space, and leave it like that. That's fine. Okay, so when you're done, you go up to the top of the page, make sure that your lawn numbers are right on your first few pages as well. Just by hitting enter. Put your cursor there. Remove the tabs and just center it. And that should take us into our proceedings and all as well. If you want to bold anything, you can certainly do that. And you're done. So you want to definitely save and exit and you're done